What's up? It's your boy from the Smoke Shack coming at you live. So, a lot of questions come up about how do I become an MMCC patient, Maryland Medical Cannabis patient. Well, I'm here to do a quick video just to show you the process. I have an iPhone 6, uh, nothing special, um, and we're going to be able to do it in just a few minutes. So, as you can see, my browser has just your regular Google app. So, go ahead and type in MMCC. It's already up here. You click it. It's going to come up right up to Maryland Medical Cannabis Commission. You're going to just go ahead and click that. As soon as you uh, get to that, you kind of scroll up, you're going to see some big blue boxes. You know, it's got a lot of valuable information there. General information, process to obtain medical cannabis, dispensary locations, providers, caregivers, and then patients. So what we're going to do is we're going to click the Patients tab. So you're going to bring that up a little bit. It's going to give you some information. Who's eligible to register as a patient? Maryland residents, non-Maryland residents, all that good stuff. Um, so it's going to give you a whole bunch of things just to look at if you want, you know, for your viewing pleasure. If not, just go ahead and hit the box, I am ready to register. It's going to come up, says, welcome to the Maryland Medical Cannabis Commission Registry. You'll see where it says patients right at the top. And instead of doing sign in, you do create account. So once you get there, it's going to ask you, is the patient under 18? You say, no. Is the patient in hospice care? You say, no. Then hit next. And it's going to, before you begin, please check the boxes to confirm that you have the following information slash documents to register an adult patient. An electronic copy of the front and back of your government photo ID, click yes. Last four digits of your social security number, yes. An electronic copy of the current photo of the patient, yes. And a valid accessible email. The last one's very, very important. A valid accessible email address. That means you need to have the password and you need to be able to get into that email to check it. Real easy. Uh, here is the photo that they want you to use, uh, like that. It's just that's an example. That's the type of photo that they want you to go ahead and take. You know, just a just like a passport photo. So they give you an example there. Check all the boxes. Make sure they're all checked. And then you're going to come down here and you're going to say, "I am ready to register." And you're going to click that big blue box. It's going to come up. It's going to say, "Create a username. Create a password." You've seen stuff like this before, online banking, whatever. Really close to the same. Confirm your password. It's got a little red asterisk next to anything that's pertinent information that's required. Um, the email address. Again, it has to be a valid email address that you can uh, access. First name, last name, middle name is optional. Last four digits of your social security number, your date of birth, male, female, your race. Uh, are you a hospice patient? You say no again. Uh, if you're not a Maryland resident, um, you can click this box here. If you can't see it, I'll bring it up. I am not a Maryland resident. So if you're not a Maryland resident, you're going to check that box. And um, so they know, put your address in, zip code, phone number. And then you get up to the government issued photo ID. We checked yes that we had that picture. But don't stress, if you don't have a picture and you have your smartphone, whether it's a iOS device or a um, Android device, all you have to do is click select. It's going to bring up whether I take a photo, a new photo or video, or go to my photo library. If you already have it on your phone, you can go to your photo library. If not, you can take the, the picture. You push take picture or video, it's going to come up, and I can take a picture of my Santa Cruz if I felt like it. But you can take a picture of that ID, whatever you want to do. Use your phone. Really easy. Then you're going to go down, proof of address if you need it, and then there's that recent photo. You're going to go ahead and click that, and you're going to go ahead and take that type of uh, passport photo right on your phone for yourself. You're going to ask, answer a couple different questions. Is your, Are you an active duty law enforcement officer, correctional officer, probation officer, paramedic, or firefighter? You answer that honestly. Um, and do you have a school bus permit or a commercial driver's license? Answer that honestly. And then in red, you're going to see... You know, um, just some disclaimers. I understand that it is unlawful to knowingly submit false information to the Maryland Medical Cannabis Commission. Uh, I understand that the Maryland Medical Cannabis Commission will send me communications regarding my registration as a medical cannabis patient. Yes, yes, yes. You want to check those boxes off, okay? Then you're going to check this box. Says, I'm not a robot. And then from there, you're going to submit. If you did everything correctly, it's going to come up and says, all your information has been submitted. And then you check your inbox almost immediately, you know, within the next, you know, five or ten minutes. And you're going to get an email con 
for them to confirm that email address, and that goes back to what we were saying about you have to be able to access this email. Um, you're going to go ahead and get that email. You're going to confirm that you do have access to the email address through that email, and then they're going to start process on your your paperwork. Within about 10 business days, they're going to go ahead and send you your uh, certification number, and then from there you can make your appointment with the doctor. Um, we we like the Health Center MD. Um, they have a location out in White Plains. Uh, that's probably the closest to Calvert County, and uh, that's where I went, and I had a great time, great experience. So the Health Center MD, they're on IG, they're on on Instagram, uh, excuse me, on the internet. Whatever you want to do, just look them up, uh, the Health Center. Um, and once you go to them with your uh, your medical documents, you'll see the doctor. Um, he'll he'll you know talk with you for a little while, he'll examine you, and then at the end of that, um, he and you will decide together if cannabis is a uh, worthwhile treatment for whatever ails you. And then if if that is the case, and if the doctor recommends that for you, he's going to go ahead and certify you immediately with the MMCC, um, you know, via his system. And then when you leave, you're going to get your printed out certification with the doctor's signature, and you can go to any dispensary that's open in Maryland and use that certification. We hope this information is uh, valuable to you. We hope that um, that you understand everything we did here. If you don't, hit us on the comments. Hit, come by the store. Ask us in person. We'll show you in person. Uh, hit us on the comments. Uh, hit us on uh, the DMs of any of the social media that we're on, Facebook, IG, Snapchat, whatever you want to do, and we will get back to you ASAP, and we'll, uh, we'll walk you through and help you through the process. If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up. And go ahead and subscribe to our channel because every subscriber counts. We really appreciate it. And we just want to say thank you again. Smoke Shack Baby, come by the store, 10 Creston Lane and Solomons, 7916 Southern Maryland Boulevard in Owings. And uh, we'll do whatever we can to help you guys out. Thanks again. Have a great night.